Hello, this is Lord of Mods here, and I'm going to be showing you how to mod Call of Duty War, World at War with an ISO. First off, you're going to need all your seven Call of Duty War, World at War parts. Then you're going to need your modded files, which I'm using Motion Flex. Then you're going to need ABGX360 GUI, Image Burn, and WX360. Alright, first off, you're going to go to your seven parts, and you're just going to take this first one, and you're going to extract here. And I'll come back when it's done. Hello, this is Lord of Mods here again. I have gotten them done, and I just extract them to my background. Just put them in here. Alright, now that you've done that, you're just going to go to ABGX360 GUI, run as administrator if you have Windows 7. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Alright, go to autofix, level 3, and then click adjust. And then you're going to go to your folder. And this should be right here. You're just gonna open that, and you're gonna make sure all this is right level three, and that's clicked on uh, launch. All this should come down. It should say stealth check passed, and at the bottom it'll say done, and then X out when ready. And we'll come back to that again. Alright, Lord of Mods back, and that just finished, and it'll say any key, press any key to exit. Alright, now you're going to go to WX360. Alright, and you're going to open a file, and you're going to go to your desktop. Click on the same folder with the seven parts, and click on that file once more. Alright, open. And it'll come down, and you'll have... Code post gx.ff and then common.ff and then default.xex. Gonna extract the code post gff.xex to that folder. Same thing with the common ff, just extract. And same with the default xex, just extract it. Alright, now go back up to the code post gfx.ff and you're gonna replace it. You're going to go to your modded folder, like I said, mine was motion flex, and you're going to switch out your code post gfx.ff with the modded code post gfx.ff. You should place that and it should say done. Now you're going to press replace on your common ff, do the modded common ff, and you're going to click on your default xex replace file, and you're going to go back to your folder where you extracted it. You don't need to download the default .xcx, it's just like, I don't know why you need to, but you just have to, right? And I'll just put the same thing back in there. Replace it, All right? And I'll just X this out. <clears throat> and now go to Image Burn. Um, you're going to go to Tools, Settings, Write. And you're just going to have it as I do. You're going to make sure there's a check, no checks for three more, check, no check. You would have a check right here. Just uncheck that and it should have three spaces, two spaces, and then everything else checked, and then three more spaces. Going to make sure all four of these are checked, user specified checked. Make sure all these are auto, DAO slash SAO, and then another auto. Then you're going to have this little number here. I don't know if you can see it, but it is 1913760. I'm going to zoom in. 1913760. All right. Now you're going to press OK. Write image file to disk. Browse for a file. And click on the one kilobyte one. 
you've already messed with the big one the entire time. You've been using this one the entire time, but now you're going to click on the one kilobyte. And it's going to come up and it's going to say device is ready. And this is going to be highlighted and you're just going to click on this. I don't have any of those CDs right now, but I will make another video with the CD to show you. Make sure it's on write speed 2.4x. And then if you wanted to make more copies, that's okay. Just You have to keep changing the disk. But for now, we're just going to do one copy. All right? All right, and then when this is ready, you're just going to click this, and it's going to start burning. You're going to have, like, a bunch of checks and stuff in this area. It Just leave it. It just goes with your computer. You don't need to mess with that. And destination is the burner you want it to burn with. So just make sure that it's the one you want. And you're gonna and this is going to be unchecked. You're going to check it. It says verify. Just check that and burn it. And it should take about 20 minutes. And then you're done. Alright, thanks guys.